Hey guys, this is Juan from Team Sketch to React. A lovely, lovely day here in Stockholm. It's um, 12 degrees right now. Sunny, awesome. Okay, uh, let me show you some new stuff. Um, let me show you how to add Lotti animations to Sketch to React uh, 1.5 pre release version. You need to purchase that one uh, from Gumroad or you need to uh, be one patron of myself and Frederick on the highest tire then you get everything but uh, we use let's open this one it's called Lotti animations templates something yeah Lotti animation template cool let's open that up in sketch 55 I always try to use the latest versions of sketch now I have here we have I just created these uh, for easier embedding. Uh, I mean, you can actually embed, the size doesn't matter, but to keep things neat, I wanted to have uh, this symbol in different sizes. You can actually create your own sizes. Uh, what you do is just go to the symbols page and just copy this one or this one and create your own uh, size, ratio, whatever. Important thing is that you always keep these things inside and don't mess up with this structure here. This preview image is for just for uh, in Sketch uh, to add uh, an image, PNG for example, of the animation. So for example, uh, let's just copy this one. Let's create, let's create a new file. Uh, we can just paste it like that. This creates a symbols page and this is crucial for this to work with Sketch to React. If you paste symbols onto your sketch documents and don't have a symbols page, that happens sometimes that Sketch do doesn't auto create symbol pages, this will not work. We need to have a symbols page in Sketch to React for it to read our symbols. So we have the symbol here. Uh, let's start by creating an artboard. Uh, we can uh, use our mobile template here. It's here uh, like that. Uh, let's rename this to start because it's the first artboard or nothing will work in our co code app. We need to also rename this page to start here like this and we need to save let's save so okay uh, now we set up let's paste an animation uh, i have uploaded this one to just uh, to lottifiles.com uh, first i created it in key shape i exported it uh, as lotti animation and then i just drag drop the json file onto here it automatically this one, let me check. Yeah, this one, lot animation URL, and in sketch, go to our symbol uh, like that, and here, boom, paste it in animation source URL. That's actually the only thing you need to do. So if we just open up our code app version 1.5 early release version and link it, linky dinky. Uh, to our file. Let's see where we are. We are here, sir. Here we are. Sa. Yes, sa. And it should work. Yes, it works. Boom shakalak. As you see, this is nice. Uh, Lotti is responsive uh, by default. So say that we want to uh, i mean this makes no sense uh, this is just an empty thing here let's add a preview image so here we have the original uh, illustration um well while we're at it i can show you the svg support how easy it is i have it here i have grouped it i just make this exportable i choose svg like that i save and boom it's here i mean my mind just blew up for real if you know how this was before 
before 1.5, uh, you are crying tears of joy right now. Yes, I am crying on the inside, actually. So, awesome. Uh, let's just, we could add uh, a PNG export thing here. And let's just, we can take this away, actually. I just wanted you to, sh to show you this. Export the PNG. Uh, blah 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 habla habla uh, let's go here let's input choose image here and then we have a preview so this is just a preview just to know what we are dealing with here uh, we could stretch this oh, oops that was not great uh, let's take this away we don't need it anymore uh, let's check it out in code I mean it's still uh, responsive so let's say that uh, we we put this in a container. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I need to zoom here to see what the heck I'm doing here. Actually, that's why I use these zoom thingies. Uh, there it is. Let's also put this in a in a row. What is wrong today? Row like that, and let this let us put this one inside a col col column like that. Okay, let's check it out in code. Yeah, what happened here is really good that it happened actually. So, nothing here because I screwed it up here and grouped. And this here is not, our code app doesn't understand this. So, just do like this, like that. You can delete this one. And let's check it out in code. It should be there. Yeah. It's here. So now it's on the grid, uh, and let's just add. Um, let's do this. Uh, wow. Now, if I look in my code app, of course, it, the text is not there. We need to name this text. Text, la la la. Like that. Now it is here. Boom. It's there. It's there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So here I can show you something really cool. Uh, say that we want uh, it, this one to be like um, like this big, uh, like that, and we have this one uh, here. Uh, let's say that we want to make something like this. Okay, let's try and group these elements using our group component. It's an awesome component. Let's see what group does. What it did, it, it made it not bigger than it is here, but it's still responsive. This is an amazing component. I love this one. Say that we, we try group fixed and see what happens if we use group fixed. No, not group foxed. Group fixed. God damn it. It's too early. I'm too tired. Uh, group fixed does something. I really don't understand what it does, actually. <laughs> it keeps it... Uh, yeah, what it does, it keeps it even tighter together. Awesome. That makes no sense, but it's awesome. Lotti, template symbol, how to paste Lotti thingies, how to do this preview thing, how to use group, the group component. Uh, that's it, guys. Cheers. <laughs>